Hey everybody, I'm Adam here for Bulls. We're back again with another quick unboxing. This might not be too quick today. We have a lot of stuff to cover because it's all new sister stuff. We got the new sister Darkmata, the Palantine, the Celestian Sacrosense, the 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 character more involved. We've got the Paragon Warsuits, and they're all fancy and brand new. So let's get stall and dive on in. We're gonna knock out the clan packs real fast, starting off with the sister Dogmata. As you see here, we're gonna actually put the image of the sister up on your screen there for you. It's a clan pack. Uh, this is, shouldn't surprise anybody. So, uh, yeah, you can see the uh, sprue there. It comes with a base. Uh, it's a neat little unit, and uh, it's a nice, nice uh, support unit for the Sisters of Battle uh, as a new option. So, definitely want to check these out for your army. That's the Sister Dogmat. Next up is the Palantine. This is another Sisters option for you. Uh, kind of like a lieutenant for the Sisters army. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll put the uh, image of the model there on your left. And again, single clan pack sprue. It's only one sprue in the clan pack. You can see the base is all there, 32 mil base. Uh, I like this model as well. It's got some neat detail. And uh, yeah, you've got a couple of different head options there too. So if you want to go with or without a helmet, it's kind of up to you. But uh, yeah, that is the new Valentine. The Celestian Sacrosense are up next. I've taken off the plastic wrap, if you don't mind. Uh, there's the back of the box to get a better look uh, at this unit. You got a couple of different weapon options there from the maces or the halberds. Uh, the shields are pretty cool too uh, for them rules wise, but we're not here to talk about rules. We're here to talk about the models. So let me go ahead and pop the box here. What's inside? Looks like two sprues. First off, bases. Got to have those 32 mil bases. There's five of them. You get five to a box. Uh, we also get the instruction manual here on how to assemble everything. And again, different options there. There's head swap options. I believe you have both uh, helmeted heads and uh, heads without helmets. Kind of whatever you want to do. There's plenty of heads to uh, customize your forces as you want. So and again halberds or maces depending on whatever option you want to go with. Uh, and then they got the little mini rules there on the back uh, if you don't have the book. But you should get the book. But anyway moving on. Water slide transfer sheet. Very handy. Um, and then of course we get the sprue set up here. So this is uh, essentially, it's like one big sprue and they broke off one section. So it's like three mini sprues, however you want to look at it. There you go. There's the full set of the uh, sacr Sacrosense here. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a neat little unit. Uh, good for close combat. They're pretty beefy for sisters with their shields and stuff. Uh, and you have a lot of different options there. So it's going to stand out uh, versus some of your other sisters that might have Bolters or Flamers or Melta. Uh, this is the kind of bodyguard close combat option uh, for their army. So looking forward to seeing what the community does with these models because they have a lot of really cool detail. Next up is a unit I know a lot of folks are curious about. This is the uh, the new Paragon War Suits. You get three in a box. There's the back. Uh, they do come with various weapon options as you see there. Uh, both, close, both for close combat and for range. Uh, so let's get in here and take a look. Personally, I'm very curious to see how tall these models actually end up being. Um, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes from the pictures. Luckily, I have some stunt doubles who are going to assist me with uh, figuring that out. First up, water slide transfer. Very handy. Always always nice to have those for your armies. Uh, and one water slide goes a long way. So, instructions on how to assemble everything. No big shocker there. Heavy bolts are options. You got flamer. Uh, heavy flamer, you got the multi melter there. So. However you want to load up your uh, your Paragon Battle War suits there. Um, lots of different options. Very cool. All right. Sprues. All right. There's the bases. So I believe these are the 60 millimeter bases. Uh, so, yeah. The 40 millimeters would be Terminator size. This, These are, are larger. So uh, three of those for the sisters. Put those in here. And then sprue wise, we get one, two, three uh, 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 sprues. So three of the uh, standard kind of size sprues. We'll go, we'll do one by one. Yeah, it'll be easier to see what we're looking at here. So, all right, well, let's zoom closer. Ta da! All right, here's the first sprue. Uh, flip it over, you get a better look at the details here. So, again, just looking at this, we've got a couple of arms. Let's see. All right, two legs, we've got a torso, arm options there, really sword options there. So it doesn't look like you can build um, an entire one per sprue. Definitely looks like you're gonna need to bleed over 
um, the different reasons. I, I, I want to check this. I don't think these are the same. Yeah, these are not the same sprues. So it's not three copies of the same sprue. So that's good to know. Just to double check there. Yeah. Okay, because like that would uh, normally fit that way, but no, it does not. They're, they are very, very similar. So I don't know. Maybe you can build them all from three different ones. But anyway, moving on. So there's the first sprue. Uh, as you can see here, up in the right corner here, you got your sword. Uh, down here, you've got your weapon options between the uh, multi melta uh, options, the flamer option here. Looks like you get two halves of the multi melta uh, heavy bolters around here somewhere. There it is. And then the different uh, ammo boxes slash power cords for the various weapons. Uh, flipping this over, you can see here it's various hollow parts too. So I don't think you can hook up any batteries and get crazy with an LED light, but it'd be fun if you could. Uh, so that's the first one. Let's go to the next one, which is this one. Again, it's a very similar layout uh, as the one we just looked at. Like, uh, you can tell the sword's in the same corner, but the little tabard there is a, a slightly different angle. So, yeah, neat stuff all around. Uh, more torso bits here. You probably can build one per sprue, now that I'm looking at these a little closer. But, uh, yeah, the, the feet. I think those are two halves. Yeah, so four sections for two feet. Cut them in half. Glue them together, pretty much. Cool. Um, there we go. And then, uh, last but not least, the final sprue. Yeah. Final sprue, look at that. Uh, again, more of the same options here. Nothing too earth chattering at this point. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one built, so I can't show it off uh, what it would look like, but I just to compare real quick let's compare like this leg joint here first off how big is that so here we have a standard ultramarine primaris marine it's about the same height uh, so that should give you a rough idea of how tall that is uh, for, for a leg joint <laughs> and I'm gonna check something too on the back of the box I don't believe these are I think these are actually going to be one to one size. Yeah. So, ballpark it. Oh, they're about twice the height of a primary screen. Maybe like 1.8 uh, compared to something like a Redemptor. Yeah. They're going to come up to the Redemptor's like shoulder pad, roughly. So, uh, maybe maybe equal with the shoulder. So, uh, ballpark that. But uh, they are not tiny. Um, I don't know if they're going to be bigger or smaller than you expected, but. There you go, Barry on Warsuit. And the final product we're going to be unboxing here for the sisters is the new Morin Vol. This is the uh, High Lord of Terra that has taken up the mantle uh, and gone on crusade for the sisters here. So, pretty exciting lore wise. Uh, very cool model. This is actually to scale, if you're wondering. So, again, uh, here's the uh, Redemptor Dread with his arm just popping off. It's all right. It's not magnetized, but it's fine. Uh, it sticks. So you can kind of see how uh, size-wise, again, about up to the shoulder of the arm that just popped off. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving on. Let's pop this box. See what we got here. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, that's everything in the box. This is a larger base than the other than the Paragon Warsuits, so it's a little bit more uh, dynamic looking. The, the base pose. So. Uh, larger base and here we go that is that's a 60 millimeter base okay I got them backwards this is a 60 millimeter base for more involved this is a 50 millimeter base from the Paragon warsuit so just to give you a rough size example there so da -da. all right moving on uh, instructions how to put everything together again you do have more of a scenic base with uh, with more involved here she does have two different head options so uh, depending on which option you want to go with, if you want the helmet or not, that is all up to you. So, um, single sprue, pretty straightforward. Giant spear, which is very cool. That's almost a spear large enough to make a uh, Adeptus Custodius jealous. So, that's cool. This is actually the reverse side. So let's flip it over. So then you got the cool scenic base with lots of little rubble details going on here. You got uh, Moranval's Paragon War suit that is souped up and super fancy. 
Again, big old leg joints there, the torso with the rocket or grenade launchers, depending on what option you want to uh, go on there. And then, yeah, just, it's a fancier version of the uh, Paragon Warsuits there. So, big old bolter. Uh, I like the belt fed thing going on here. But yeah, very cool looking model. I can't wait to see this one built and assembled. Uh, just very curious. <laughs> I want to see this one ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'll probably call that squad Ripley, but we'll see how it goes. All right, everybody. Well, that was the uh, those are the new Sisters of Battle Adeptus Rotos releases from Games Workshop. This is, I think, the third or fourth wave at this point. I'm getting them all mixed up, but you get the idea. Some brand new models, brand new units that you can take in your Sisters of Battle. And uh, don't forget to grab your Codex, which is also out uh, with all of these models too. Uh, it's brand new, hardback, very nice, very fancy. We'll probably do a review on the Codex a little bit later, but. There you go, folks. I'm Adam Haver Bowles. Thanks for watching so much. We'll catch you next time. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.